Hello everyone, I'm Santos with Gadget Byte Nepal, back again with another video. This time around, we're going to take a look at a drone, and it is no other than DJI Phantom 2. Let's find out if DJI Phantom 2 can be your first drone or not. You must be thinking, isn't it late to review DJI Phantom 2 now? Well, you're right to some extent, but it is only recently that drones are being available to buy in Nepal. Star Trading, a subsidiary of Jyotik Group, is one of the distributors of DJI products in Nepal. Now, anyone can purchase a drone from any outlets of Evo Store. Getting started with DJI Phantom 2, it's simple. Take the drone out, take two pairs of black and silver propellers and install them matching the color indication in the motor. Then put the battery in. Take the remote controller, make sure both the switches on top are at correct positions and then turn the remote controller on. After turning the drone on, make sure you keep the drone on an even surface at some distance away from you. Let the drone warm up for a little while and when the lights go green, then the drone is all set to fly. It's not worthy to talk about drones without knowing the Nepal drone laws. Civil Aviation Authority of Nepal has brought some rules regarding the use of drone in Nepal. And I'll try to do a short briefing on that. If your drone weighs lesser than 2 kilograms and you're intending to fly it over your own property, then you won't need a permission from CAAN. But make sure you fly it under 400 feet from the ground. The drone has to be flown in good weather conditions and there has to be clear line of sight between the operator and the drone. If you are trying to film in from it, make sure you won't invade anyone's personal privacy. But if you are flying the drone in a place owned by a person or company, then you have some paperwork to do. First, you need to get the no objection letter from the owner. And if it happens to be a public place, then you can get such no objection letters from the municipality and city office. After getting the security clearance letter from the police headquarters nearby, you have to submit a request later to CAAN along with these documents in order to get flight permission for your drone. You don't need to spend any sum of money for that, but you certainly need to spend a few days to get such permission for your drone flight. Before flying a drone, you should take a few things in mind, like you might not want to fly it in overcrowded places or near gigantic infrastructures. It's better to find a peaceful spot and the best would be an open field. Never fly a drone in military places, historical monuments and national heritages or anywhere near the airports. I recommend you to go through the flight permission procedures that is available in the official website of CAAN for more detailed and updated information. Coming back to the DJI Phantom 2, DJI Phantom 2 is a multifunctional quadrotor system with precision flight and stable hovering. Its battery life is quite decent. It can be in the air for about 25 minutes, which is quite awesome as the battery capacity of 3S LiPo battery is of 5200 mAh. It has the maximum speed of 15 meters per second and the maximum tilt is of 35 degree. The remote controller has built-in battery of 2000 mAh which can communicate with the drone from distance of 1000 meters away. Flying the Phantom 2 is unlike flying cheaper drones. It's bigger, heavier, weighs 1000 grams, far more powerful and has responsive controls. It has automated safety features. If it loses connection with the controller, then it will use its GPS to return back to where it was initially launched from and will land itself. Similarly, if the power is too low, then the drone will begin to descend so as to avoid running out of battery and crashing. But that might happen to be disastrous sometimes. Say, if you are flying your drone over water and the battery level is too low, or if there are any trees near where it considers home, then you could be dealing with a suicidal drone. DJI Phantom 2 is extremely well built and easy to fly and it stays in the air for quite some time. And it certainly can be your first drone. No need to say DJI Phantom 2 is a decent piece of technology. And drones are definitely one of the expensive gadgets to have. And many of you might not have flown a drone before, so it might be wiser to go with the cheapest drone possible, and that's the DJI Phantom 2. With that being said, you can still make a lot out of DJI Phantom 2 if you buy a GoPro separately that fits right into the stabilizer that comes with the drone. I would like to conclude this video saying, fly safe and fly responsibly. Thanks for watching and like and subscribe if you haven't done it already and I'll catch you in the next one. Who says you cannot control the way you surf the internet? Now you can with Vionet's Fiber Home Rush. 
boost your speed from 2 Mbps to 10 Mbps. Save your high speed data whenever you want. It's that simple. To subscribe, call us now or 217-555 or visit our website. Vyanet, the best thing that happened to the internet in Nepal.